Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm excited to share some of my favorite apps that I rely on to stay organized and efficient. I've been using most of these apps for years and recently I discovered that many of them are also available through SetApp, the sponsor of today's video. SetApp offers access to over 250 high quality apps that help tackle all kinds of tasks from creativity to organization and beyond. For me, having them all in one place has been a huge help in simplifying my workflow. SetApp provides a variety of applications that meet different needs, and I found a category of apps within SetApp that supports my productivity and organization. So whether you're looking for creative tools, utilities, or ways to stay on top of tasks, SetApp brings everything together in one subscription. Plus, every app is updated automatically and there are no annoying ads to distract you while you work. And the best part, they're offering a 30-day free trial through the link in my description so you can explore everything Setup has to offer and see how it fits into your own workflow. Now, let me walk you through some standout apps I found incredibly useful, starting with Bartender. It's one of those tools that might seem small but makes a huge difference. If your menu bar is cluttered with icons from all the apps you use, well, Bartender is perfect for keeping everything organized and giving your desktop a clean, polished look. Bartender lets you decide which apps stay visible on your menu bar and which ones collapse into the Bartender menu. If you have a lot of icons, you can even group apps together for quick access so you can still have control without clutter. One feature I find really useful is the ability to rearrange icons by holding down command and dragging them into position. It's great for customizing the order based on what I use most often. Bartender also allows you to customize the style of your menu bar. I chose a pink tint here, but there are a lot of options for you to choose from if you like to personalize your setup. You can even make the background black, which helps hide that MacBook notch and gives your menu bar a sleek look. Bartender also has a hotkey feature, which I find super helpful. I've set up a hotkey specifically for searching my menu bar, so with a quick keystroke, I can instantly find the app I need. It's such a time saver when I'm multitasking and need quick access. Overall, Bartender is essential for keeping my MacBook's workspace clean and organized. And with all the customization options and hotkeys, it's a powerful tool for anyone looking to optimize their setup. Next up is Be Focused, an app that has been a huge part of my productivity toolkit for years. I originally started using it back in school to power through some study sessions and homework. And even now, in my day-to-day -day life, it's one of my go-to tools for staying focused. Be Focused uses the Pomodoro technique, which is a simple but effective method. You work in blocks of time, usually 25 minutes, then take a short break. For me, the 25 minute working sessions are perfect for tackling intense tasks where I need to focus without distractions, followed by a quick five minute break to recharge. This time frame works great for me, but you can also adjust the settings to fit your liking. One feature I love is the ability to block websites and apps during work sessions. So if I'm working on something that requires my full attention, I can set Be Focused to block access to distracting sites and apps until my timer goes off. This helps me stay in the zone and avoid any quick, tempting distractions. And for someone juggling both personal projects and content creation, staying on task is everything. Be Focused keeps me accountable and helps me power through long editing sessions, scripting, or planning without losing focus. The app usually gives a gentle beep when a session is over, signaling it's time for a break or to start the next session. These simple alerts help me stay consistent and refreshed throughout the day. And in a world where it's easy to get distracted, Be Focus helps me stay locked in on the work that matters. The Pomodoro technique paired with distraction blocking is a game changer for boosting productivity and focus. Another app I love is Spark Mail. For managing personal emails and everything related to my content creation, Spark Mail is my go-to. Its clean, organized interface makes it easy to keep track of everything from collaboration requests to planning emails. One of my favorite things about Spark Mail is its AI-powered response suggestions. With just a few tabs, I can reply to emails quickly and effectively. Whether it's a quick acknowledgement or more thoughtful response, AI feature helps me save time and communicate smoothly. What's great is that AI gives multiple response options to fit your needs so I can choose the one that best fits the conversation. 
It's really handy, especially when I have a lot of emails to get through and want to respond thoughtfully without spending too much time drafting each one. Spark Mail also syncs seamlessly across all devices, which is a huge plus. I can use it on my MacBook, iPad, and even my Android phone, making it easy to stay connected no matter what device I'm on. Spark Mail also comes with a powerful organization tools. I can snooze emails, set reminders, and even pin important messages so they don't get lost in my inbox. These features are perfect for keeping me on top of emails that need a response later or for flagging messages that need my attention. I love the Smart Mail inbox feature too. It automatically sorts my emails by priority. So the important ones are up front and center, while the less critical ones are grouped together. It's a simple feature, but it makes a huge difference when I'm short on time. With Spark Mail, I can focus on creating and engaging with my audience without getting bogged down by email management. So if you're looking for a well-rounded email client with intelligent features, Spark Mail is definitely worth checking out. Next up is OneSwitch, an app that gives me quick access to a bunch of handy toggles. It's a simple tool, but it has features that make my workflow smoother and keep my workspace looking clean. One of my favorite features is the ability to hide desktop icons with just a click. When I'm working on content creation, especially recording my screen for tutorials or product reviews, I want everything to look polished. So hiding those icons gives my desktop a clean, distraction-free look, which also helps me focus. Aside from hiding icons, OneSwitch has other convenient options like toggling dark mode, quickly enabling do not disturb, and turning on the screensaver. Instead of hunting through settings, I can access all of these with a single click right from a menu bar. What I love is that I can customize which toggles show up, so if I know I'll be filming, I can set it up so that hiding icons, turning on do not disturb, and switching to dark mode are just a few clicks away. It's perfect for instantly getting my setup ready without the extra hassle. And having a clutter-free desktop not only looks better, but also helps me feel organized and focused. It's amazing how a small tool like OneSwitch can make such a huge difference in creating a streamlined workspace. So if you're someone who appreciates a clean desktop and quick access to settings, OneSwitch is a must have. It brings together everything you need to get your setup ready and looking great in seconds. Lastly, there's Structured, a beautifully designed app for planning out my day visually. Now, I'm pretty new to Structured. It's actually one of the apps I discovered through SetApp, but it's already becoming a favorite for keeping my day organized and on track. What I love about Structured is how easy it is to plan for tasks. You can add tasks for each part of your day, set specific times, and even add reminders. It's like having a timeline of your day right in front of you, which helps me stay on track and manage my time effectively. One of my favorite features is the color coding for different categories like content creation, errands, or personal to-dos. It gives me a quick visual of how my day is divided, making it easier to balance everything. The timeline view is fantastic for visualizing my day. I can see everything from morning tasks to evening plans laid out clearly. So I know exactly what I need to focus on next. And as I go through the day, I can cross off completed tasks, which keeps them visible so I can track my progress. It's satisfying to see those crossed off items, knowing I'm moving closer to finishing my list. Structured also has an app for iPhone that syncs seamlessly with the desktop version. So I always have my schedule with me. So whether I'm at my desk or on the go, I can check tasks, make adjustments, and keep everything in sync. Overall, Structured has been a great tool for planning my day in a way that's clear and organized. If you're a visual planner like me or looking for a simple way to stay on top of tasks, Structured is definitely worth exploring. Now, each of the apps I've shared today, Bartender, Be Focused, Spark Mail, OneSwitch and Structured are all a part of Setup, and they've each added something valuable to my workflow. What I love most about Setup is how it brings so many high quality apps together in one place. Instead of managing multiple subscriptions or searching for new tools, I get access to all of these essential apps with one subscription. It's a huge time saver for me, allowing me to focus on getting things done without the hassle of managing software. So if you're curious to try Setup yourself, they're offering the 30-day free trial with the link in the description. This is a great chance to explore the apps that fit your workflow and see if set app can make a difference in your productivity, just like it has for me. But that's it for today's video. Let me know if you've tried any of these apps and how you're liking them. 
or if you have other productivity apps you'd like to recommend. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and click that notification bell for more tech related content like this. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.